Hi, it's uh, April 1st, 2023, and I just wanted to do a video to uh, kind of chronicle what I do with my garden this year. In 2020, I kind of went a little crazy, as everybody did, um, with the gardening. And what I really did was, let me show you. So in 2020, I built this chicken coop out of um, this, this whole bed here was just like landscaping and I built this chicken coop out of reclaimed materials you see I have um, shutters and the walls are built of four pallets the shutters are just screwed to the outside and so this has got a lot of ventilation I've got wood that I found on the side of the road I've got cinder blocks underneath for the foundation that were given to me um, a neighbor gave me this piece of roofing. I did buy this chicken guard automatic door a couple months in because one night I forgot to close the door <laughs> and I found a little baby possum in there the next morning. So um, I built this and then I said to my friend Kelsey over at Duke's Yard Homestead that it looks like the Beverly Hillbillies live there. So she made me this sticker. Beverly Hill Biddies. And then I put up this fence. I built that gate. I put up just this easy fence around this area. And it's a nice big fence. I have a built out building here and it goes all the way to the back of my property and then here. So then um in 20 so then and uh the last two summers, 2021, 2022, I was busy uh, with a historic house that I bought. I was busy busy renovating that. So I really didn't do much with my garden and it's a big mess now. Um, so this year I have big plans and I've kind of already gotten started on some things. I just want to give you a tour and show you what it looks like now, which is a hot mess and what uh, I'm planning for it. So here we go. Late like today, the sun's getting low. It's going to, might be hard to see with the glare. So let me get over here in the shade. So my backyard here, here's my house. Um, I've been, I've been in this house for, this, it'll be six years this year, and there was nothing back here but just lawn. So, um, I have over here, I have a garden bed that has now got some um, kale and broccoli and different brassicas in it that I put it, I seeded in the greenhouse. And then I bought 12 of these felt grow bags from Amazon. Uh, they're 10 gallon and that was 20 some maybe 25 dollars for 12 of them so i've got different things I've, i'm gonna fill up the rest of them i've got um potatoes here in this in this rubbermaid bin and they're coming up nicely i put 10 seed potatoes in there and hopefully i can get a good harvest out of that never had luck with the potatoes before so we'll see i bought this cheap greenhouse from amazon this year i think i paid 60 dollars for it so i did a whole lot of uh seed starting in here i still have a few things i have my tomatoes and going in there and some other things and once i once i'm done with this for the spring i think i'm gonna move it but for now it sits here in front of my building I have, this building i have here has two rooms and right now it's just storage so i want to repurpose one of those as my shed sorry my dog's barking in the background she's a little ridiculous um, there she's there's the perpetrator come here Okay, over here, yeah, I stuck some sweet potatoes in there to see if they would do anything. I built this bed about three or four, maybe four or five years ago and um, just had various things in it. But yesterday I kind of hit the clearance rack at Lowe's and bought a bunch of perennial flowers. So I've got some columbine over there and I can't remember what these things are. Um, leopard's bane. And then this is like the phlox and that's sun sparkle firecracker or something here i've got a cup two um artichokes that i started in the greenhouse this year so once they kind of harden off i'm going to plant them here so this will all be pretty much perennial flowers and i got a couple of um rosemary plants down here and then i also added from lowe's yesterday this uh yarrow and this little uh, lavender and then i had this thyme in a pot so i stuck it in the ground yesterday so this will be kind of a perennial herb bed and then I just put some petunias up here in my little window box. Um, over here I have some broccoli rapini. And these are some bull's blood beets. And then I'm planning on, right now there's like a, a row of, of radishes in the back here. But I'm planning on kind of amending the soil here and um, 
planting something over here. I haven't decided yet. Um, that's my Dollar Tree stacking planter, which I put some uh, strawberry plants in, and I have some more on the way, so I bought another one of those, and I'm gonna, oh, I'll, just, I'll just keep my strawberries in a container. Um, so this is this side of the yard. The, I haven't used this side much because I had a big elm tree right there that made just so much, it, it made it really shady. So I couldn't really grow anything on too great over here. It just got too much shade. So I did invest in having this elm tree taken down. And um, now I've I tried to make it a fire pit. It's really not going so well. So I think I'm gonna clean this up and just have the, the trunk here with some plants sitting on it. Um, but I didn't kill a tree just for that. I, it was also, you know, messing with my power lines here and it was on my roof, so it needed to go. But this tarp, this is a big mess here, but I've been, um, I have been mixing my own soil. I bought three of these giant bags of peat moss, 3.8 cubic feet. That makes a lot when you open that up and fluff it up, it's a lot. Um, I mixed it with like eight bags of black cow and I have a big giant bag of vermiculite on my back porch that I bought several years ago. So I put a bunch of that in there, mixed it up. And I've just been filling all my containers with this, topping off um, my bed. I'll be topping off my beds. I've got one more thing of peat moss here, but I've, I've only got one more bag of black cow. So what I'm gonna do, instead of buying more black cow for the next batches, I'm just gonna get some uh, of that nice rich dirt out of my chicken run that I really haven't harvested a whole lot of that. So that should be good. And I'll mix another, um, batch of soil to finish filling these two beds that um, I bought from Amazon. But first, let me show you. I'm expanding my, my uh, fence here. I had fenced in this little area on the side of my house. This is the southeast side, and um, I had four raised beds over here that I got from Sam's Club, I think in 20, 2018. They're kind of, they're holding up pretty much. They're kind of bowed out, but they're holding together and I had tons of tomatoes over here last year and I still haven't cleaned it up. But these, this is where I usually, this is where I plan to put my summer garden because it just gets so much sun. Right now it's shady because it is six o'clock in the evening and the sun's going down, uh, going, getting low and it's only April 1st. But um, so in 2018, I went to the state farmer's market and I bought a fig tree that was about three feet tall. That was five years ago. This thing is 15 feet tall now, at least. It's, well, it's like as tall as my house. And last year, I finally got a really great harvest, tons of figs on it. And we've got, see, there's some babies there. We do have some damage from where we, it had started leafing out and then we had a couple of cold nights last week. So we've got some freeze damage with some of the leaves, but that's my fig tree. That's a Celeste fig. And this tree has grown like crazy. So I love it. Um, but it is shading out this bed over here. When I planted, when I put this bed here, there was no tree there and this was all sun. So now what I'm doing with this is I've got a few broccoli plants in here and I'm just gonna put like some alliums in here. I've got some garlic this, that was kind of left in the ground a couple years ago. Um, I got some onion starts and chives and things I'm gonna put in here. And um, I'll, I'll finish out some herbs and stuff over things that can tolerate the shade like some dill and cilantro and parsley I'll, I'll finish here when the broccoli is done but this is where i plan to put um you know squash, summer squash and peppers and different things um i have five earth boxes if you know earth box you know i bought these particular earth boxes Look at that sticker. I bought them in 2005. I've, these, I've had these for 18 years. Best investment for gardening I've ever made. They are kind of pricey, um, but I use them every year and they do really great for a tomato. Last year I had peppers in them, but tomatoes, peppers, that kind of stuff. Down here I've got some fennel that volunteered two years ago and it keeps coming back. So it's coming back. I've got, it's coming back again. I need to break these old canes off and clean all this up. Purple dead nettle is all over my yard this year and you know I just found out that that's edible <laughs> so I think I'm gonna harvest that one right there at some point and put it in my salad. There's more over there. Um, I'll clean up all this but so there were the, my four original garden beds. Um, 
I had this little four by four metal one for just since last year and I put some root vegetables in it last year. And I think I'm gonna do that again this year. Um, parsnips later in the summer and rutabagas for the fall. So I just bought these two beds on Amazon. They're eight, by th eight feet by three feet wide. I got both of them for $140 shipped. Um, so like 70 bucks a piece. I think it was a good deal. They're a foot deep. And right now I'm trying to fill them partially. I've got the cardboard underneath. I'm throwing yard debris. I'm, I've dumped my, I'm dumping my earth boxes in there so I can refresh that soil. And I'm just gonna put, like over in this one, I put a broken terracotta pot. I picked it up yesterday and it shattered into a million pieces. So I threw that in here because you know, terracotta will absorb water and hold it and it'll just help fill some of this space. So. Pretty soon, I'm gonna mix that last big batch of soil and finish filling these up the rest of the way up. And um, I plan on getting a 16 foot cattle panel from Tractor Supply and making an arch between these two because these two beds are where I'm gonna do all the winter squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, melons, everything that climbs. That's what I'm planning to do with these two beds. So that's that. So my fence i'm kind of i'm expanding it i have to buy some more fencing i have this roll of green stuff here which is really ugly but for now instead of spending more money on these really expensive black no dig panels from lowe's i might just i've got lots of these fence posts laying around so i might just use this green mesh stuff to wrap around and go towards the hedge um my hedge there's a driveway behind that that um, goes to the back to the alley back here that I share with all my neighbors and that is full of ivy jasmine smilax and Virginia creeper so that is a constant battle to keep that from overtaking everything um, and then this corner back here it's got two big giant magnolia trees it's shady nothing will grow back there nothing grows under magnolia trees I need to clean it up but my dog that's what that's her that's her spot I, I, store my kayak and that's where she poops and barks at the neighbors so um right now see it's, it's a mess uh last thing here is i did build this bed this spring because now i have a little sun not in the afternoon but for the first half of the day i have sun here because that tree that elm tree is gone so i have some jerusalem artichokes in here that um aren't haven't come up yet and I also threw a packet of wild, wild uh, wildflower seed that I got from Dollar Tree just to kind of cover it up until the artichokes start coming up. So we'll see how that does. So right now it's a big mess. It's lots of little projects in, prog in progress and, but I've got a vision and that's the April 1st, 2023 tour of my backyard and soon-to-be garden.